Hare Krishna and welcome everyone to Bhakti Sangha Japa conference call. Thank you all so much for joining us and giving us your very, very valuable association today. Today we are very fortunate to be hearing from Nimai. Today is a special day. We have the kids presentation session and Nimai is going to present today and he is going to speak about the glories of the Pandavas. Very interesting subject. Nimai is 10 years old. He likes to read story books and share stories with his friends in the Bhakti Riksha class. Every week he attends Bhagavad Gita online class and he reads Shloka. Nimai is the son of the most fortunate Vardhana Mataji. Mm -hmm. for all her wonderful qualities and she serves Bhakti Sangha very selflessly doing various services like um, uh, the uh, maintaining the drugs, sending the posters and taking care of the announcements and so many other services, doing introduction and so on. Uh, she's a very wonderful devotee. So it's so nice to hear from the son of such a wonderful person. Thank you so much, Nimai. You can now take over the call and we are waiting to hear about the glories of the Pandavas. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Tandavas Manam, our glory to Srila Prabhupada. Thank you very much for giving me this opportunity and bless me. I always be in service of the Supreme Lord. Oh, mission. Please forgive me if I have any, um, if I speak anything wrong or mistakes. Hare Krishna. Mahabharata is the wor world's longest epic and is believed to be the concussion of Hindu mythology and philosophy. It is said to it is said that Hindu god Lord Ganesh has written the epic and narrated as narrated by the great sage. Veda Vyas Mahabharat is one of the two Indian epics that explain the importance of values and and friends of family and friends. What is Mahabharata? Mahabharata is, the, is one of the most valuable works that has been enlightening people since sages. It is built with several significant facts. It is it teaches a person to learn and keep up with the human and ethical values required for a prosperous living. Man is a social animal and should abide by the rules of society. Mahabharata is a source of infinite knowledge and a way of living. It revolves around the relentless hatred and vengeance among cousins, which, it, which finally leads to the greatest battle of Kurukshetra. Shantanu, the king of Hastinapura, is married to the beautiful river goddess Ganga, who gives birth to Devavarta, a wise and a strong prince. Eventually, Shantanu marries Satyavati, mother of Yasya, promising her that her future son will be king. Shantanu has two sons with Satyavati. Both are short-lived. Satyavati asks her younger son Yasya to father children uh, with Ambika and um, Balika, the w widows of her dead son, Vichatavari, Ambika gives birth to a blind child named Dhritarashtra, and her and her sister Ambika to a bale skin ch ch child Pandu. The throne and Vitarashtra, because of his blindness, becomes eligible to take the throne. And this brother, Pandu, becomes the king. Pandu has a curse on him that he will die when he has a relationship with women. Pandu's first wife, Kunti, holds a particular boon to bear children and give birth to the victorious Yudhishthira, the enormously strong Bhima and the great warrior Arjuna. Before getting married to Pandu, Kunti tries to test her boon and give son and give birth to 
Karna. She abandons him in fear of a, a girl named Mad Madhuri Pandu's second wife borrows Kunti's secret, secret and gives birth to the twins Nakula and Sahade. These five brothers of Pandava and the great heroes of the story, Mahabharata, they have they share a common wife, Durapati. Durapati. King Pandu dies after mating with his second wife, and he and his brother Dhritarashtra becomes king, becomes the king. Dhritarashtra and his wife Gandhari Gand have a hundred children, the Kaluvas. Duryodhana is the eldest of them. Both the Pandavas and Kuruvas grow up with dislike to, towards each other. The Pandavas, with their physical strength, positive attitude, and good deeds, become popular among the subjects of the country. On the other hand, the Kuruvas are seen to be jealous and wicked. The eldest son, Kurava, Duryodhana teams up with his younger brother Dushyasana, close friend, and the Pandava stepbrother Karna, and matronal uncle Sakuni to shun the Pandavas out of their kingdom. They challenge Pandavas to a game of dice, and they defeat them with treachery. The Pandavas lose everything, including their wife Draupadi, to the Karuvas. Karavas impose a 12-year-old actual 12-year actual followed by a year of enormity. On the Pandavas this during this period, the Karavas make several attempts to kill kill their cousins, but Pandavas ex escape with the support of the maternal uncle Lord Sri Krishna. After completing their 13 year exile, the Pandavas take back their part of the empire, their, but their cousins refuse to give it, leading to the great war of Kurukshetra. The war lasts about 18 days in the in the fields of Kuru clan, and so the name Kurukshetra, the holy Hindu scripture Bhagavad Gita told by Krishna to Arjuna, has evolved during this episode the Pandavas win the, the war with support of Krishna, but the, but the victory comes at the cost of their lives, of their rela relatives and loved ones. Yudhishthira. Yudhishthira's names indicate dead fat, fastness and all times. Even, even at war when things are most difficult, as he was the son of Yama, he was the most... Righteous and steadfast, a follower of the Dharma in all walks of life, shining like the brilliant sun in the knowledge of law, ethics, and morality. He will never be the most righteous um, of the brothers, never having spoken a lie in his life, except during the final war, where he was made to suppress a loud truth, though neutrality. He was such a steadfast man, righteous deed, that his chariot while moving would remain a few inches above the ground. Fortunately, due to, to this fondness of rightness, he would do the, during the game of dice with Karuvas to gamble his wife Durpati and lost her. His deeds are enormous, and he is only the, only the only one of two examples. The other is Lord Drama a practice of right righteousness in all modes of condition of life, even if that meant killing oneself. Bhima. Bhima was the son of wind god Yavu Vayu, indicating the fierce force and braveness that he inherited. He was the mightiest of all of, of the brothers. Both physical power, prowess, and in skills and speed, he he was fond of eating and took the lion's share of shared meals of the Pandavas. 
He was fond of cooking, was great cook, and employed at, at himself as a sh- as a chef cook in the last year of the Pandavas exile, where they were to suppress their identity and live unknown to the world. He was he was the one who took the oath to kill the hundred Kuravas as the result of losing the game of dice and watching helplessly their only wife, Dorpati, getting disrobed by the Drusyasna, Drusyasna, younger brother of Duryodhana, Arjuna. Arjuna was the mightiest in skills, matchless in knowledge, skills, and saintly temper, possessed of divine weapons, and the major responsibility of winning the Kurukshetra war was given to him. As he had Lord Krishna as his charioteer and advisor, his divine weapons, when used, vanquished even the most renowned and skilled warrior. He was the most best Paul of the Lord Krishna and his recipient of divine knowledge from Krishna, often called the Bhagavad Gita. During their exile, he endured the most severe austerities and sacrifices and pleased the Lord Shiva to appear who willingly presented him with a divine weapon for his war. Nakula, being the son of the Ashwins, who was the most skilled with animals, especially horses and elephants, he was compared to the Lord of Love, Kam- Kamadeva, as he looked beautifully and a woman cha- charmer. He was steadfast in his conduct, he had superior knowledge of health, and cures for many life-threatening diseases. He, along with Sahadev, saved Karna's life during the war on Kunti's request. When Karna donated his chest weapon to Indra, Arjuna's father, in an act of ch- charity, he was an excellent sword fighter, equipped with the best knowledge pertaining to sciences, warfare, and unusual weapons. Sahadeva was the second son of Ashwins and Madhuri, and he was the wisest and most mysterious character of the Pandavas. Pandu, while on his deathbed, requested him to eat all of his flesh so that he could get all of his knowledge. And thus Sahadeva, then able to foresee the future with this diminished clarity and saved the Pandavas lives on many occasions. He was the best in cattle prevention and in their growth. Was a great sword fighter like Nakula and and acquired the recused requesting knowledge of Dharma and righteousness. Karna. Karna was the eldest son of the Pandava brothers and the sixth Pandava. Discovered only at his deathbed in the war by his younger brothers, he was matchless in skills, weapons, charity, and could remain undefeated even by the gods. He took his training from Lord Parasurama, a fierce Brahmin and the sixth incarnation of Vishnu. Karna was the most was the son of the sun god and likewise was the most brilliant and outstanding both in knowledge and warfare. He was only one one who could see through the sun for hours without disturbance. Being his son, he could have been undefeated in the war, but only cutting advice of the Lord Krishna to urge not to kill him while being disarmed brought to a life to an end. Throughout his life, he was called a Sutta Putara, uh, or a child with unknown parents, and Radha, Radha adopted him when he grew up. He was incomparable in charity, and once also gave his entire palace away to a burned down to help citizens of his kingdom. Such was, was his merit that his power to give away was never vanished, and prosperity never left him.
Mahabharata can be regarded as the most valuable treasure for today's generation. It has got everything that is required for a better living. It teaches the basic of ethics a human should have to, be, to lead a proper life. Its teachings can be attractive to kids as, as can be told as stories. There are some in, interesting and relevant <coughs> from Mahabharata which every child should know. Jealousy is primary, primary cause of misery and should understand Gandhi, the mother of Kaurava, therefore advises kids to share the spread of love without any negative feelings. Envy is the main reason behind the budding rivalry and it can cause maximum damage to an individual. This can be understood from the relationship of Kaurava's and Pandava, which leads to the destruction of the Kaurava clan. Advice kids against um, the devil, developing hard feelings and produced against anyone. A bad company can use us from the rich and this, could un this can understand to be the characterization of the great karma. Though he is a great warrior, incredibly talented, a humble man, he is Friendship with the Yajna led him to a downfall, therefore teach children to choose their company correctly and carefully. Do, do, do have faith in the, in the Lord Almighty in, in respect of your abilities. This can be clearly understood from the way that Mighty Yajna believes in the Lord Krishna. A wrong step taken during a, a stage of life can show its effects for a lifetime. This can understood. This can be understood from the from the life of Kunti, who hides the fact about of about her birth to elder son Karna. Therefore, teach children to leave <coughs> there and explain them to the youth of all speaking and in respect of consequences. Never torture the women because cause of devastation and a total downfall. This is evident from her life through Yodhana, and his brother Dushyasana. All parents teach little munchkins to respect the women. Never get addicted to a dangerous practice because it can make you lose. It can make make you lose your work and downgrade your growth. And this is a pretty clear story of the Yudhishthira. He lost everything for his craving towards the game of dice. Teach your children to have control over themselves and make their make their limits. I would like to share share a story share a story of of Radhanatwami about Sindutai. Sindutai was um was Born in a poverty-stricken uh, place in Maharashtra, India, she was more. She was married when she was nine years old. Nine years old. When she was nineteen, she was. She had three sons and was pregnant. And there was a mafia collector making slaves and paying practically practically nothing. So he told the local collector that this person was doing it. And um, then that mafia person was put into jail and had consequences. But then when he got out of his consequences, he went and told his her husband that she was doing, she was having a bad relationship and doing different, and, uh, and doing stuff with different men. So then this, and then the mafia person said to his husband, if you don't kill Sindutai, I will kill you. So uh, the, her husband came and kicked Sindutai in the stomach more than three times and laid her in the cow cattle, so, uh, expecting people... Oh, Imai, can you be a little louder? I'm not able to hear clearly. Please be a little louder. Uh, so then she, they, he put him under the cattle, and uh, so... 
People think the cows had trampled on her. When she woke up, there was this one cow chasing other cows to not trample on her. And when the law confirmers came to make sure she was dead, she chased her away with her horns. And then she she had very pain in her stomach and took a rock and cut her umbilical cord. More, it took more than 20 slices to get free from it. Then she realized people, I, she, she can't help, uh, she can't help herself, but she can help other people. But she also thought that she, she didn't want her baby to live like this way. So she was about to commit suicide under a railroad track. But then she heard of, then she heard a cry about, um, about of a little child who was screaming for help. She took him under adoption and started uh, protecting him. She she uh she helped. She got money of singing and providing meat for her children. Now she has over one thousand four hundred children of adopted. She has her orphanages international. But one day, um, an old man came to her orphanage and asked for shelter. A few minutes later, Sindhita ex, um, recognized him, and it was her ex-husband. And uh, he was, and he was asking for shelter. One of her most, um, so then this, then she gave, then she gave one of her biggest things in her life and forgave him. But she. But she didn't want him as her husband. She wanted she wanted to be her mother, and he would and she would introduce him and always say, "This is my eldest son, and he's very naughty." So and then this came to a Lord Rajanath Swami when he was in Pune, and uh, and he and he was talking to her, and there was this girl gleaming with smiles. She was this. And then Sindhutai um, introduced her to Radhanath Swami, who um, who uh, who asked who was she. And then she said she was the child born under the cow. And now she's a medical doctor and or and owning one of her orphanages. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Nimai. This was such a beautiful class on the Pandavas and about the wonderful story of Sindhu Thai Sapkal. Okay, so um, which is the favorite uh, character in the Mahabharata that you like me mind? My favorite character is Bhima. Right, my favorite oh my. Character. Wow, even my favorite character is Bhima. He's the best. That's really nice. So what is it about Bhima that you like so much? That he was, that he was like one of the reasons that uh, Ekadarshi was like formed. What was formed? Sorry, I couldn't hear you. Natural Ekadarshi. Uh, I couldn't hear you again. I don't know why. Nitral Eka Dasi. What's that? You're saying Nirjala Eka Dasi. Oh, Nirjala Eka Dasi. Okay, got it, got it, got it. Thank you, thank you so much. Yeah, that's a sweet thing that you said, yeah, it's only because but of... But I have a question. Yes. Why can only Arjuna see God if, and the other Panda was current? Nimai, do you want to answer that? Well, I didn't hear a question, sorry. Can you repeat your question? Why can only Arjuna see God and the other Pandavas cannot? Um, you can ask my mom that. I don't know. Um, maybe because he's, uh, 
he's like a great warrior, and he has. I don't know how to answer that question. Mataji, can I answer that question? Yes, please. Go ahead. So only Arjuna can see Krishna because the whole process, I mean, the point of Bhagavad Gita is um, Krishna explaining to Arjuna. He didn't show he was explaining to Bhima or any other Pandava. Very nice. Who's this? This is Drew. Drew. Very nice. Thank you, Drew. Okay, so that's very nice. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, very nice, Nimai. I like the presentation very much about everybody, all the Pandavas, about uh, the morals that you shared. That was also very interesting. So among all the morals that you shared, which one really stuck to your heart? Um, I think Karna. What about Karna, dear? Um, that, uh, uh, it said that, uh, Krishna, he won, he, he said, um, uh, yeah, Lord Krishna to Arjuna to kill him while being disarmed. So Krishna told Arjuna to kill him while he was disarmed, which really shocked me. Hmm. Thank you. Thank you, Dimai. So anyone, very beautiful. Anyone has any questions, comments, uh, realizations? You can all go ahead, all the children. Uh, you can ask your questions and, uh, and get your answers. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna Nimai. It's a beautiful presentation. Thank you so much and coming, giving your presentation. And I like the answer. I like your favorite character also from the Pandavas. Okay. Hare Krishna Nimai. I like how your pictures fit in your slides. Thank you. Hare Krishna. Hi, Krishna Nima. You did a wonderful job at explaining the glories of the Pandava. Thank you, Drew. Hi, Krishna Nima. I like your presentation. Thank you. Hare Krishna Nimai, I like your presentation. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hare Krishna Nimai, it was a very nice presentation. You explained very well. Thank you. Thank you. Hare Krishna Nimai, such a nice presentation. Thank you. It was a nice presentation. Are you getting on in my It was a nice presentation. Thank you. Hare Krishna, Nima. I like you your pictures in the presentation. Thank you. Hare Krishna Nimai, that was a very beautiful presentation. I loved the way that you presented and your uh, pictures and uh, slides were very beautiful. Did you uh, do it all by yourself? No, my mom helped me. Oh, that's okay, but it was a very beautiful slides. Thank you so much. Hare Krishna Nimai, such a beautiful presentation. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hare Krishna Nimai, that was a beautiful presentation. Thank you. Hare Krishna Nimai, that was a good presentation. Thank you. Hare Krishna Nimai. I don't know why I can't see the presentation, but then you said it so nicely. So, Nimai, wow. 
from the story of Sindhu Thai Sakpal which you shared, what would you want to tell us? Like how what what do you want to give as a moral from there? I don't know um, part of the presentation. That always always forgive someone even though if they did something bad to you. Hi Bol. Do you remember Nimai any instance in which has happened to you that somebody has not been fair with you and you have let it go? Do you remember anything from your part? Um, yes. My brother one time he got ice cream and I didn't but I didn't ask for it. Ah, such a sweet you're so sweet, <laughs> Nimai. So what did you do? You didn't feel like having ice cream or you were not given ice cream? What was it? Um, I, did, I didn't want to uh, make my mom go back to the store and get ice cream, so I just didn't want. Oh, my sweetheart. So sweet, so sweet. That's really a very nice thing to my. Wonderful. Hari Bol. Thank you for giving me this opportunity. Please bless me. I always will be in the service of Lord God's mission. Okay, anyone else has any realizations or questions? Okay, so then we can move on to the next part of our discussion, which is the presentation by the Damodar Govinda and Mark. And Anima, you can stay on the call maybe uh, to hear. And so thank you uh, so much, Nima, again. Now we can have the Damodar kids present. And Kupika Mataji, please take over. Hare Krishna, thank you so much, Nima, for your own presentation. Now, Common take Damodar group. And they can see their rhymes and then sloka, what they learned last week. I think there is Rishikesh is there, Janvi is there, uh, Vrinda, uh, is there, uh, uh, Balaram, Subhadra, Shri, and Sri Hari, Vrinda. Yeah, who want to go first? Hey, Balaram, it's Balaram. Okay, Subhadra and Balaram, you can go ahead. <laughs> Subhadra, anybody want to go next? Me, Shri and Shri Hari. Go ahead, Shri and Shri Hari. The jolly good fellow, the jolly good fellow. Without Krishna, devotees of Krishna, happy and all born. 
seven old days, remember all the days. We will be doctors, never have a Thank you, Sansi Hari. Who want to go next? Me, Rishikesh. Go ahead, Rishikesh. Ananda Chinmere Satma Payamanash Yaprani Nam Prati Balam Marata Mutetya Lila Ite Nabhuvana Nijayatya Jasram Govinda Madi Purisham Samaham Bajami We are jolly good fellows We are jolly good fellows Devotees of Krishna Happy and joyful. We serve him all day, remembering all the way. Without Krishna, we would never have a happy day. Thank you, Mataji. Thank you so much, Rishikesh. Danavi, you want to go next? Ananda Shirmaya Rasad Mata. Mataya Manasu. Yad. we serve him all day, remember him, remembering him all the way. Without Krishna, we will never have a happy day. Thank you, Zanavi. Rinda, do you want to go next? Yes, Mataji. Ananda Chinmaya Rasa Pratayama Manasu Yaprabhana Samsparatamu Pedya Lila Vite Bhuvanani Jayatada Ram Govinda Madhi Purusham Tamaham Amanda Jami. Ah, now right, we are. We are jolly fellows. We are jolly fellows. Krishna. Happy and joyful. We serve it. We serve it. All the day. Remember. Krishna, all the day. We talk. We talk, Krishna, we would never have a happy day. Thank you, Mataji. Thank you, Vrinda. Thank you so much. Is there anybody from the other group? I think Mataji. I can take over Mataji first. Hare Krishna, Mataji. From Govinda book, uh, Govinda group, anybody is there? Anybody want to share? Ashutosh, you want to uh, go? Sri uh, Vila, the Jai is there. Uh, Ash Ashutosh and Krishna are not there today, Mataji. Okay. Balra Suraj is there. Huh? Suraj is here. Suraj is there. Go ahead, Suraj. Whatever you want to share, you can share. Wait. 
तेषां सतत युक्ता भजता प्रीतिपूर्वक दधा बुद्धियोग मामुपयाज मेकां व्रज अहम ताम सर्व पापेभ्यो मोक्षयस्यामि मा सचल मी बलराम थैंक यू सूरज बलराम यू कैन गो नेक्स्ट तेषां सतत युक्तानां तजदां प्रीति पूर्वकं तदामि भोगयां योगं त येन मां उपयन्ति ते सर्व दट्स ऑल So then we can move on to the Madhva children. We do have Asra on the call. Asra, you can go ahead. Hi, Krishna Mataji. She is doing chanting today. No problem, Mataji. No problem. Okay. Is there any other child who wants to share anything? Okay, so very nice. And Nimai, we are looking forward to seeing your presentation. You can share it on the group, and you will soon see your presentation on YouTube as well. Okay, so if everyone is okay, Hare Krishna, Mataji. Um, Shreya wants to sing uh, shloka. Yes, please go ahead. Sarva Brahman Padmaja, Mami Kam Sarva Kam Raja, Aham Tam Sarva Papaya. वेरी गुड श्रेया थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू माता जी थैंक यू माता जी थैंक यू सो मच then if there's no one else uh, we can end the call here and do share your presentation animai thank you so much for coming thanks to all the devotees who participate